also at Goodwill. Michael Jackson, the experience for $2.99. I also went to the pawn shop over here and got these four games for 10 bucks. They have them usually at three bucks a piece, but I got them four for 10. Atlas Madness Returns, Assassin's Creed Trilogy, Black Ops 2, and Madden 16. All for 10 bucks. Later. At the flea, nothing great, but um, got Resident Evil Director's Cut, which I didn't have, and a few PC games that I think I might be able to make good money. And altogether, everything in there was 31 bucks. Later. Alright guys, so here are my pickups for the last week or so. The week was very quiet, um, not much. I basically have only one pickup for garage sales. It was rainy, um, the town-wide sales were kind of slow. Um, it was cold, it was Mother's Day weekend, all the excuses you can have for it to be slow, so it definitely was slow. Um, I will show you what I have, it's not much, it will be quick. My lonely um, garage sale stuff was this game, Bombastic, for the PlayStation 2. Um, in this sale, I walked in. And there was a Vetrex sitting there, turned on. And the guy was just finishing buying it. He paid, I asked the person, and he paid 180 But he had a whole bunch of games for the Vectrex, but other Atari stuff that was really expensive. And he paid 180 So that was a big, big miss. But that's how it works. I didn't get there in time, or I didn't get there early enough. So somebody else got it. So I picked this up for 2 bucks, um, And I'm Barbie thing for my daughter. I also picked up Blood Wake for the Xbox. At a Goodwill for two ninety nine, the Godfather the limited edition for two ninety nine also at a Goodwill. Uh, we'll do flea markets real quick. Picked up these three games for ten bucks. Super Glove Ball, Sims to Castaway, and My Sims. But instead of My Sims, inside was. New Super Mario Bros. That game sells for about 15 to 20 bucks. So that's not a bad deal. So those three games were 10 bucks. I also picked up at the flea market all these big box games. Um, this is the Jurassic Park Traspass. I already sold this one for 25. I paid 20 for all four or five. I also picked up these, um, they're called Trapezoid games for the PC. Um, Tomb Raider's Chronicles. It's all complete and in really good shape. Tomb Raider 3, from what I saw online, they sell for a very good amount of money. Um, Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 1. Like I said, it all sells for a really good amount. I believe people have them selling all four together for 199 bucks. I put it online for 120 and see what happens. Like I said, I only pay 20 bucks, so that's not a bad deal at all. At another flea market, the only thing that I picked up on Sunday, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And that was two bucks, I believe. At Savers. It was a PlayStation week. Definitely everything, most of the stuff that I picked up was for the PlayStation. I picked up these three games for $1.99. I had to take them out the bag so you can see them. Siphon Filter 2. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero. I also picked up Super Monkey Ball for 99 cents, and I believe The Simpsons Hit and Run was there too for 99, and Shark Tales and a couple of other things. Ultimate 8 Ball was 99 cents. Risk was 199, and NBA in the Zone was 99 cents. The only reason why I picked it up is just because it's a big box game, and you know you see a big box game, why not pick it up? Uh, 
at a Goodwill. This is the last pickup at the Goodwill. I also picked up a whole bunch of PlayStation stuff. I also picked up this, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. I picked played paid four ninety nine for that. Um, then I sold it for fifteen. Then I picked up this games were sitting there. The Goodwill usually doesn't have much, and when they do, they never have PlayStation stuff. PlayStation is one of the things that's really hard to find these days for some reason for me. So I was very happy to get what I got. So this was it. I picked up Independence Day for one ninety nine. Darkstone for one ninety nine. Delta Force Urban Warfare for one ninety nine. There was a Dreamcast game, Ripping Riders, also for one ninety nine. Rayman for one ninety nine. They're all one ninety nine. Parasite Eve is obviously missing the case. It's a two discs that are in there, and that was one ninety nine. Resident Evil Director's Cut for one ninety nine. Silent Hill three. Um, obviously, this one comes with a soundtrack, so this is not that. I sold this for twenty bucks. So, and this was, I think the cases were actually two ninety nine, and I also picked up Silent Hill two for two ninety nine, and I paid, I sold it for twenty eight bucks already. So that's a real good deal. And now, the pickup of the week. So the pickup of the week was this game, Resident Evil's Director's Cut. I picked it up at the flea market. Um, the guy said he only wanted a dollar. There's two versions of this. There's the long box, and then there's this, the two discs. I think this is a little bit more rare than the actual long box. This is how it came. One game here, and game number two here with the manual. Um, the game goes from anywhere from in good condition like this one, goes between 45 and 55 bucks so it's a really cool game and something that i didn't have one of the few resident evil games that variation that i didn't have so very happy to get this for a decent price a buck you can beat a buck a dollar is a fantastic price like i said the week was short and sweet a lot of playstation st playstation stuff that i usually don't get um don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully we will see you all next week Later.